So the scripture for today is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 45, and it reads, He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good. And this is Jesus speaking about God the Father. And the meditation is the following. The influence of sunlight, in addition to its tremendous vital force, has an incomparable attraction and beauty. When there is no sun, when clouds cover the sky, then clearly the beauty of nature becomes colder and dimmer. But it takes only a single ray of sunlight to break through the clouds, and everything changes. Everything comes to life, shines, and seems to smile and radiate happiness. With its warmth, the sun awakens the life hidden in the bowels of the earth. It kills microbes and conquers the cold and darkness. Masses of snow and ice melt under its rays, turning into streams brimming with life. Its light brings joy and warms man and nature. It is reflected in each drop of dew and illuminates every blade of grass. All the plants reach out to it, and everyone's gaze turns towards it. In the same kind of sun, but with an eternal, boundless light and warmth, which nothing can dim, exists in the spiritual life. Its rays can and should fill every human soul, which is created for eternal bliss. This sun is the eternal truth, eternal love, and eternal goodness which shines in the merciful Lord who commands his sun to rise on the evil and the good. Everyone receives in their souls these wonderful rays and can reflect them further, spreading God's light and warmth around them. Unfortunately, not all of us are receptive and our soul is not always open to these rays. There are people with great qualities and gifts, but we don't feel they have the vigor and the ability to console, a quality possessed by those who are less gifted but humble and who have this hidden ray of light. These are the ones who encourage, console, lift the spirit and emotions, and help one to live. They have the ability to always show the bright side, to eliminate the unsightly sides of life, and to brighten the darkest corners. Every one of us, even to a small extent, can be a bearer of light and warmth. Sad and pitiable are those people of whom the Lord said that they loved darkness more as it says in the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 19. The one who loves the light goes towards the light, and the light is reflected in him. Look around you, raise your eyes heavenward. Isn't there a bright blue streak between the clouds? Point it out to those who are morose and despondent. Remind yourself and others that the sun is behind the clouds. Awaken the hope of better days. Approach the small and the old with a smile. In those that labor, kindle the hope of God's help. In those that mourn, try to awaken trust. In those that are indifferent and sad, try to kindle a spark of goodness and so that you yourself do not lose the power of the bright rays, constantly fill yourself with the light of God's love. Catch every ray, notice every hint of beauty around us, keep away from everything unclean and ugly, or otherwise bring there the all-conquering rays of light. Ask the Lord, who gives everyone simply and without reproach, Take living water from him, and it will be a source within you for others. Take the unwavering light from him who said, Let your light shine before others, 
as it says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 16. Together with his light, let us receive from him his perfect joy, and then all of us, without exception, will help make it so that the sun of his truth will shine in the all-encompassing power and glory of the Lord.